Can humans be immortal? The answer is no. Can we live after death? No. Many people have searched for the secret of living forever for centuries, but it seems to live we have been beaten to it by the animals, to an extent at least. So in this video, we're gonna tell you about top 10 animals that can live after death. The video is gonna be amazing, so make sure you stick till the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 10. Worms We've all heard the claims that if you cut a worm in half, then it'll turn into two separate worms. But this isn't exactly true. Sometimes parts of their bodies can recover, but it won't result in two different individuals. And it's actually quite a cool thing to do to them. There are one species of exception to the rule, which is a type of flatworm. You can actually cut them into several pieces, and each one will grow back into a hole. There are some cells in their bodies that are distributed throughout and contain a specific gene. Another cell without this gene is destroyed for whatever reason. One of these special cells will immediately go to the site and replace it. Number 9. Cockroaches The interesting thing from research is that cockroaches are infamous for their tenacity and are often cited as the most likely to survive in any condition. They can live without their heads, in fact, they can go on living for weeks. However, unlike humans that bleed, and when a man's head comes off, cockroaches doesn't have that problem though. They're said to have an open circulatory system, which translates to little to no blood pressure, so if their head's lopped off, the wound just closes naturally due to clotting. Second and obviously, human heads hold quite a bit important part of our body, our brain, and without it, humans will not function. Eating, drinking, and breathing are all possible without the head of four cockroaches. On the other hand, don't need their heads to breathe as they do this process through little holes located on their body called spiracles. Although a headless cockroach will die of starvation eventually, it'll take weeks for them to do so. Number 8. Bees Bees are the one of the most important insects in the world, responsible for pollinating some of the most commonly grown crops that we rely upon. But we all know that if you get too close or make one, think you're going to damage the hive, they won't think twice about stinging you and injecting you with venom. Did you know, though, if a bee dies, they're still able to inflict pain with their stingers? This is because the bodies of insects are far more decentralized than their own, and even if they lose their heads, plenty of other functions still work as if they were alive. Number 7. The Octopus it's not really the octopus that survives after being chopped up, but rather their eight wily arms that continue to move about. And it's these eight arms, according to research, that usually get stuck in someone's throat, resulting in a very bad day. However, it may interest you to know that why octopuses' arms maintain mobility even after being chopped off is quite fascinating. From research, it's because their central nervous system is quite unique most of an octopus's nerve cells, two-thirds of them can be found not in the brain, where you would expect them to be, but rather in its tentacles. Be that as it may, these arms can continue reacting to stimuli even after they are no longer connected to the main brain. They remain responsive even after the octopus has been long dead and the arms severed. Number 6. Ocean Quahog in 2006, scientists in Iceland were surveying the creatures and killed one that was later named Ning as a part of their study. They realized they had made a mistake when they looked inside though because they found out that Ming was at least 507 years old. But how could a clam live for so long? The answer is thought to be to do with the animal cell structure. Usually, the molecules that contain oxygen in an animal's body actually react with cell membranes and produce molecules that damage other parts of the cell. But in ocean quahog, the cell membranes appear to be impervious to this effect, which means that their cells hardly age or deteriorate at all and allows them to reach ages far beyond most other creatures. Number 5. Chickens the most interesting fact is that a chicken's central nervous system is very different from us humans. Some basic bodily functions are controlled not by the brain itself, but by certain parts of the brain stem. This means that even when the chicken head is chopped off, most of the time it's just the forebrain of the chicken that comes off with its head, leaving the brain stem and the cerebellum quite intact. Of course, it'll eventually starve to death, but there is one special case that a chicken that survived 18 whole months without its head. Number 4. Salamander 
Salamanders are a species of amphibians that live in regions across the world and are easily identified by their blunt snouts, short limbs, and often vivid colorations. Living in environments that have a large number of predators, they have developed a unique trait that allows them to survive most attacks, the way that they can regenerate virtually any part of their body. This happens because of the presence of macrophage immune cells which arrive at the site of an injury and immediately begin growing a replacement. Whereas in other animals, they would usually just form scar tissue. Incredibly, this process works for completely severed limbs and even for vital organs that have been partially removed. Being salamanders are able to overcome injuries that would prove to fail for any other animal. Number 3. Turtles Turtle is another animal and at number 3 on our list of animals that can survive without their heads. According to a research report which revealed that these animals can dive for a very long time, how long? Well, try 5,000 hours in the case of the loggerhead sea turtle. Yeah, you heard that right. Despite that depth, they survive that long by on what oxygen they can take from the water through their skin, throat, and so on. As well as their body has amazing potential for producing energy without oxygen. Amazingly, their hearts have their own fuel sack and they won't give up until their last fuel sack has been used up. Number 2. Jellyfish most jellies that you find in the ocean have a relatively short lifespan, may only be alive for just a few weeks or months to give them the opportunity to breed. There is one though which because of their unique life cycles are often called the immortal jellyfish. To understand how this is possible, you first need to know a little bit about the stages of their development. When they're first born from an egg, they enter their larval stage which is known as the planula. As they grow, they begin to develop a colony of polyps around them and once this is large enough, they transform into their adult stage which is the jellyfish. If they face extreme problems like a complete lack of food or a serious injury, they can revert back into the polyp stage and start the cycle again. It's not known if there's a limit to how often each individual can do this but in theory, it means that there could some be alive that have been around for many thousands of years. Number 1. Snakes This one is quite common too because we've seen it several times but some people don't really know that chopping these things heads off may seem like a peaceful way to avoid being bitten but the truth is that that might not be the case. It may interest you to know that a snake's head, a vessel for its fangs and deadly poison sacs still has the ability to bite you and deliver deadly venom even if it's no longer attached with the rest of its body. The report has it that snakes detect heat signature with its head and if you're close enough to the head of the snake that has been cut off, it can still sting you and deliver deadly venoms that can kill you. Don't feel like a superhuman after killing a snake and try to play with it even after chopping off its head. They are said to have heat sensitive pits which are capable of detecting threats for hours even after their death which means the snake can defend itself even in death. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we'll be back soon with another video.